And now there is so much talent uh, in Nigeria. And sometimes I feel like not enough branding is happening around some of these talents to help showcase them better. Beautiful voice like that, lovely song like that. What could be missing? Hmm. Joining us to talk about personal branding in the gig economy and share insights on how personal branding can be leveraged in the context of this economy. Individuals often work on short-term contracts or gigs, as we call them. Aizehi Itua is in the building. He is a motivational speaker, he's a branding expert, and so much more. It's great to have you back. Thank you very much. It is good to be here. Always have something interesting to learn uh, when you pop into the building. Thank you very much. Personal branding, most people have sort of put personal branding in the bracket of, I have an Instagram page now, mm -hmm. I'm on LinkedIn, mm -hmm. I'm on Facebook, what's next? Great. I think those platforms should be an expression of your personal branding. Okay. And by that, basic marketing, they are just channels and platforms that you then express the core of who you are. Okay. Um, I remember earlier in the month, we talked about, you know, starting from inside, yeah. you know, so, so identifying who you are and identifying where your target audience, you know, are most excited, right? And then creating plus platform specific content to fit them and express who you are on those platform is key. When you say platform specific content, are yeah. you saying that that selfie video I made for Instagram this morning might not work on every single platform? Yes, it might not, okay. right? While we're going video first and based on consumer you know, um, insights over time, we see a lot of snack ads and short form content. Uh, I think that was what blew up TikTok, okay. Snapchat, and then you see other serious platforms even you know, trying to have that as well. YouTube shots, okay. even Instagram reels okay. uh, and the likes, right? Um, however, it depends on what you're also saying. What are you communicating? Um, great. And then how you also want to position yourself within that community. Okay. Very essential. So if you are, uh, and, and the beauty of it is that, you know, uh, even the professional space is becoming less uptight. Okay. You know, we have, I was surprised the other day, I saw Snoop Dogg on LinkedIn and I was like, okay, <laughs> okay, you know, <laughs> you know, and the beauty is that he is consistent across board. However, his content are actually tailored towards businesses, sure. you know, and all of, you know, the professional side of, but then he did not lose his humor and the Snoop Dogg part of him. Interesting, know. interesting. So now I'm, I'm thinking about what um, people can do presently. Maybe yeah. a small business owner, yeah. a freelancer who is looking to make some changes. What are the platforms you need to be on? Great. Um, again, depending on your on your, your industry and where you okay. play. Let's, let's just say fashion, for instance. Great. Um, for fashion, you need to be on a platform where you can showcase your work. Funny enough, you could be on LinkedIn, yeah. depending on the type of fashion you do, of right? Instagram, great. Um, so what I try to advise startups is that you, we have a new form of branding for, for small businesses now, and not even small businesses, it's more of the CEO branding, okay. right? When you have a CEO with high equity pushing the corporate brand, you know, because it is more believable when it's coming from a person. People connect to people, okay. you know? And we saw that even with Elon Musk when he took over Twitter. It was like, you know, a whole lot of, and his space, um, X. space so, X. So, yeah, so it's, it's him using his personal brand to push whatever, you know, he's speaking about because he's trusted as a thought leader. So it's very essential that as a business owner, your personal brand should be positioning you as a thought leader so that you can build trust well enough to leverage, you know, on your business. So leveraging on different platforms such as LinkedIn, such yes. as Pinterest, yes. such as Facebook yes. is important. Very. But then being consistent is, is challenging yes. for a lot of people. Yes. Especially if you don't understand how these platforms mm -hmm. work. Mm -hmm. So what is the best thing for someone who hasn't used these platforms before? Yes. What's the best thing for them to do? So two things. Uh, first off, if you don't have to do everything, but then if you want to cut costs, then it's essential that you plan ahead. Um, I tend to advise people to actually create multiple contents. Like I said initially, your content is an expression of your strategy, your core strategy. So I tend to recommend to you know, um, business owners to start off being ideas led. Okay. Right? I recently put up a post on LinkedIn about my friends, uh, one of the biggest um, agency, creative agencies in New York, okay. owned by two um, wonderful people, Sonny Bonnell and Ashley. And what they did was come into the scene with an idea. Okay. And it was them succeeding because of who they were, not despite 
you know, who they were. And they came in with the rare breed. From there, they, their, 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 their agency is called Moto, with the tagline, ideas worth rallying around. Okay. And of that, having understood and created a system for creating ideas-led brand, they created a product. That's you productizing, you know, that system, yeah. which was called Vision Camp, to help other leaders create such, you know, as well. So it's you establishing yourself as a thought leader, showing your mastery, and then productizing it well. Yeah. You know, for it. I, when, when I hear the term thought leader yes, now, uh, I think of people who have possibly written books, mm. people who have spoken about mm. uh, particular areas, mm. or people that actually teach or train. Great. I don't really think about people that own businesses. Great. So how does that work? If someone who owns a business that's not really as popular as they make it seem yes. is teaching about it, does Great. it still work? Funny enough. It is that you have a track record, and, and that's why we spoke about documentation and amplification. And that's where storytelling, you know, and amplifying that story you're telling is key. And showing that I have this skill set, I can do this, I have done this over time. Yeah. And based on the fact that I have done this over time, I think you can also do it. It's you leading a thought, influencing, okay. you know, showing, showing your expertise. So it gets to a point where even as a chef, you know, you have done it well enough to be able to nurture a couple Other of people. people, yes. All right. And once they say, those, those who don't do, they say they teach. Mm -hmm. uh, once mm -hmm. you can teach something over and over again, I guess you're also improving on your Yourself. own skills. Yes. This is the gig economy. Yeah. How does this now affect uh, us? Because it's, it's sort of still a fresh version of the economy we're mm -hmm. used to. Mm -hmm. People are moving from the blue collar and white collar and they're running their own businesses. Yes. How does this affect that space? Um, I think it does a whole lot because, like we said initially, if you're not seen as an expert, you won't be trusted. Okay. And funny enough, you get to see that businesses tend to utilize these guys, the freelancers, a lot from tech to creative space and media and all of that stuff. Um, since we are in that start of mentality, we're then looking for, businesses are looking for that. You know, these guys are like, you know, briefcase agencies now okay. because, sure. you know, they, they help you cut costs and then just deliver and move on. You know, no extra, extra cost. So what you want to then do is enable your client trust you well enough. Okay. So what platforms are you on? Um, I know global platforms like Upwork, Fiverr, uh, even LinkedIn, which is yeah. professional. It is you identifying the community. Now, community for your industry and community for your target audience, sure. right? And then positioning yourself as an expert. Hey, I've done this, showcasing your work, like I said initially. Okay well enough for them to trust. So the, all I'm hearing now is don't be afraid to blow your own trumpet. Please don't. Because nobody's <laughs> going to blow it for you. <laughs> you need to talk about what you do. You need to showcase what you do, but also do it on the right platforms at the right time yes. in the right way. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you very much Isaiah. for having me. We have loads of work to do together. Honestly, yes, I need to. I, I, man, I, you people should trust me by now. You people <laughs> should trust me. Am I not a thought leader at this point? <laughs> you know what? Uh, let's hear what you have to say. Use our hashtag WakeUpNigeria on TVC on all platforms and uh, give us your thoughts.